Good morning, third grade class. Today we're going to talk about elapsed time. We're going to start with this problem right here. Read it with me. Miss Smith's class goes to recess at 9.15 a.m. Recess ends at 9.45 a.m. How long do the students get to play outside? Now let's highlight some of the key information. Can anybody tell me what time recess starts at 9.15 a.m.? Good job. And what time does the recess end? 9.45 a.m. What do we want to know? We want to know how long do the students get to play outside? So let's review. Can anybody tell me what time this clock says? Great. This says 9.15. And we know that a.m. means morning. So this is when recess starts. Now can somebody tell me what this clock says? Very good. This clock says 9.45. A.M. So both times are in the morning. So we're going to use three ways to solve our problem today. We're going to first use subtraction, then we're going to try a number line, and then the last one, and my favorite, is the T-chart. Can anybody tell me what elapsed time is? That's a great idea. Elapsed time is how much time has passed from the start to the end. We're going to start with subtraction. So when we start a subtraction problem, remember that the bigger number always goes on top. The two numbers we're looking at are 945 and 915. Now, we can see that our hours are the same. They're both 9. So we want to look at just the minutes. Who can tell me? Is 45 bigger than 15? Good. 45 is bigger than 15. So we see that 945 will be on top and 915 will be on the bottom. So now we can write our subtraction problem. Remember to always add your subtraction sign so we can see how you solve the problem. Now we do it like a regular subtraction problem. Somebody tell me what is 5 minus 5? Good. 0. 4 minus 1? 3. Always bring down your colons. That's very important. Now, what is 9 minus 9? 0. Good job. So now, we see that the answer is 0 hours, because hours are always in front of the colon, and 30 minutes. We know that the students get to play outside for 30 minutes. Always circle your answer when you're done, and make sure to label that it's minutes. Now we're going to solve the problem another way, using a number line. It's going to be the same problem. The two numbers we're working with are 945 and 915. So when we do a number line, you want to draw a nice, big, straight line to give yourself enough room with two end marks, here and here. Now, can somebody tell me when recess starts? Good. Recess starts at 9.15. Which end do you think we put 9.15 at? The left or the right? Good. We always start on the left, just like how you read a sentence. Now, can somebody tell me when recess ends? Good. Recess ends at 9.45. Now, when we use number lines, we're going to use hills to show five minutes. So we're going to count by five because both 
both our start and our ending end with a five. So now let's see how many hills we had to climb to get from 915 to 945. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now remember, each hill is five minutes. So let's write a five on each hill. Now again, let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So again, we see that from 9.15 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. is 30, what should my label be? 30 minutes, good. Always circle your answer. Now we're gonna try a third way to solve this problem. This is our final way. We're gonna do a T chart. So remember, time starts with T. Draw a big T so you have enough room. On the left hand side, we're gonna label it add. On the right hand side, we're gonna label it new time. So who can tell me again what time we start with? That's right, 9.15. Always write your starting time, the very first on your new time. Now, this is our starting, so we didn't add anything to get there. So, can somebody tell me what our end time was? Our end time is 9.45. So we want to go from 9.15 So let's count by tens this time. Can somebody tell me what comes after 15 if you're counting by tens? Good, 9.25. Now remember, we added 10 to get from 915 plus 10 is 925. So let's do it again. 925 plus 10 is now 9, does anybody know? 35, good, quite there yet. That's 35 and we want to get to 45. So let's add one more 10. 935 plus 10 gives us 945 a.m. 945 is our end time, so we stop there. Now we're going to do just what this column tells us. We're going to add 0 plus 0. Oh, don't forget your sign. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Good. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So again, our answer is 30 minutes. The students got to play outside from 915 to 945. And we know that that is 30 minutes they get to be outside having fun. Does anybody have any questions? So to review, we solved elapsed time problems in three different ways. First, we used subtraction. Do you remember it looked like this? Second, we used a number line which you can think of as peeling the clock down into a flat line. And third, we used a T-chart, T for time. Add on the left, new time on the right.